All right, February 2008, we're back again at the International Flower and Garden Festival. We got some awesome stuff happening here. We're debuting this year for the very first time, the Water Gardens of the Future. That's basically a, a rainwater harvesting concept, so we can show people how to be environmentally friendly uh, by capturing rainwater and utilizing it for irrigation on their property. So it's going to be some great stuff, so stick around and we'll show you how we're doing it. Water harvesting has been going on well before our time. We're just bringing it back. We need to be more conscientious in how we use water. Us as individuals have to uh, do our part too. We can't just go our merry way and hope that uh, there's a better world for the kids. Well, I think we we need to really buckle down and be aware of what's going on because we we've, we've got to leave it for our children, you know, and our grandchildren. I have a little grandson here, so let him to have clean water. <laughs> I hope they come up with solutions, but you know, it's always to the brink. You have to come to the brink before people start doing something. People are probably not going to make a difference and start to make a concerted difference in it until it actually starts to hit their pocketbooks, which is generally when it's too late. What are you doing to conserve? I want to take a bath once a month. <laughs> There is a resurgent in interest in conserving water. The Conservation Foundation, over the past year alone, we have sold more than 1,000 rain barrels. I think there's a limited number of people who you know, really want to get into that um, and who aren't afraid to put an ugly rain barrel next to the house. This is people putting a barrel under their gutter and instead of letting that water wash off and sort of go to waste, they're capturing it and they're using it as a resource. A lot of people with rain barrels stuck under their gutters and it's not too pretty. This way we're gonna blend in more with the environment, give them a, a more natural effect in their own backyard. You know, you're increasing that biodiversity, you're able to enjoy it, something to look at and enjoy more than just a cistern underground that is keeping water there. We started uh, installing rainwater harvesting systems last year, not because we're promoting it, but because people are actively asking for it. You're capturing the water, you're gonna filter it, you're gonna be able to utilize it, you're taking it away from all that problem of stormwater runoff. We're gonna be creating biodiversity at the same time. So, I mean, that's a grand slam. I mean, we're hitting things on so many different levels, it's unbelievable. In today's environment, everybody is, is looking to go green um, and looking to do their, their little part. And this is something that uh, you can do on a very small scale. Residential people can get excited about this. So this is now another option. We say, hey, you know, not only can you capture the downspout water, now you can beautify it. You can beautify your landscape. You can get a feature out of it that's, you know, enjoyable, it's got biodiversity, it's good for the environment. You know, we've taken the step to, to make our backyards, to bring, you know, nature into our backyards, and it's just the next step is to make it a functional part of the environment. We're able to not only create micro-environments, but sustainable micro-environments. This just gives a really positive twist uh, onto the water gardening industry. The first comment I get is, you know, look at you guys going green, you know, and uh, you know that's a that's right where you want your company to be. It's not the ultimate solution, but it's a first step in the right direction. And if the more and more people that we can get on board thinking this way, it, the better off it'll be for all of us. I think what we're doing here is a grassroots effort to bring this to a whole, to say, look, 
We need to do something, and I think this is going to happen throughout the United States, throughout the world. Right now, a lot of people are really starting to think about how important water is. People are finally beginning to realize that water is not a waste product that we have to get rid of. It is a valuable resource that we have to protect and save. Here's just one thing you can do better to save the Earth. One person can make a difference. I guess I'm a bit of an optimist. So yeah, I am hopeful for the future, but it's going to take people working together.